friends. I tried to get a better picture, but I hope I get in the thumbnail. I hope everyone gets a notification. I gotta do something. I gotta check the fire. Richie got a call to go to work. He got a call early this morning to not come to work. And then he got a, a phone call and said, Can you come to work at 12 o'clock? And stay maybe until 12 tonight? So, we were going to go live together, but because somebody the other day asked, could we go live together? And I said, well, <laughs> Ashley, <laughs> I don't know if you got a notification, but you knew I was coming. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she's just far enough away that that door almost scraped her whiskers going to open this door up to check the fire. Because Richie got a call to go to work. I was just watching a video on how to do it. Seems a little complicated, but should be able to do it. Maybe between the two of us. I'll watch, I'll watch a YouTube tonight. No notification. Uh, again, just refreshed. Oh, darn. Uh, I'll check it out on, uh, tonight, too. Uh, maybe we'll go on Thursday if you're not busy or, or Friday. I don't know what day. What day is better for you, I guess. I guess it wasn't long ago that he put wood in here before I come. I got the hall door open because it's, it's hot. It's hot in here. I don't want that smoke to come out of there, so I'm going to close that. And I'm going to go and get a stick of wood, though, and put it in, so. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. This is a heavy stick. And it's only half of one. Ah, good thing I didn't drop that on you. <laughs> I touched it and she's rolling over here. No biting. You didn't bite him, so don't bite me. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, it's too heavy. Oh, gee. Gee Willikers. Willis? <laughs> what show was that? That old junk man. Sure, all depends on how work goes right now. I have nothing coming in finally free to watch. Cool. Richard and I was going to do some un unboxing and... Uh, I know you like to do that, unboxing and unbagging. I opened this hall door over here because it's like almost 90 in here. Yeah, well, it's 30, which is somewhere around 88. Haha, <laughs> Willis is sitting here watching. Oh, I forgot you had a cat named Willis, too. So you've got two cats, then. Cake and Willis. Okay. I might have time. Now I got it. Yeah, he's black and white. I saw him last night when I was downloading those little videos from the the MS uh, the Facebook chat to uh, put in a little video. Yeah. I had uh, one time another friend in Africa sent me a little clip of her cat watching my cats. That's a long time ago before I had YouTube. So let me know when you're ready. Excuse me, when you're ready for the unboxing. Feels like I'm supposed to be doing something, but I don't know what. 
I could uh, get the food out of the fridge here while I'm waiting. Oh my goodness. Well, he's got this full now. Carrots, turnip, potatoes. I don't have to cook. Oh yeah, I wanted to eat these beans and and rice. See? And I got these to eat. Leftover taters. <laughs> My habits are so much. Not cooked. This one. Cabbage and turnip. This one is. Let's see. Let's see. That one's uncooked. Here's the delicious cucumbers. Sweet cucumbers. Where's the dish that I eat out of? Aha! Sorry. Sorry for your ears. Okay, so let's see. I boiled the kettle again so that I'm just going to uh, squeeze that tea bag an extra time. All right, glove. Yeah, he had both fires going on because he knows I like it nice and warm in here. Woo! Put your glove on the wrong way. Sorry for going out of frame. Okay, I got the phones plugged in. Well, let's see. I'll put the taters in this the leftover taters. I wish I had it so that you could see. Maybe I'll bring that that pink uh, one tripod from the white van. Maybe that will. I don't know if that one will let me. What's the word? Now, see, I'm getting food smells in my head, so I can't think anymore. Uh, I can tilt it at it. I can show the, yeah. Anyway, sorry. I'm slicing the potatoes so they'll warm up faster. Okay, that should be enough spuds. I can show you now. We've got tater crumbs on the clean. Uh, Cardboard clean table you got here. Box in the, you can't see me. In there, in the garbage. This goes in the other garbage. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to dig in that garbage today. What time is it? 25 after.
I put it on 20. Yeah, he's got the... going to be strong enough or not okay so now I gotta not get out of frame so so much sorry I need a spoon and a fork I already got the knife Little tiny quarter of a paper towel to put my spoon and fork on. Okay, that's well, I gotta put that food back in the fridge. That's right, because that's all I can smell here. Okay, let's get this in here. I hate that chair there. Uh, I guess I'll eat this tomorrow. Cabbage and turnip. I didn't think the door would close, but it did. Yay! Okay, so I gotta take the beans out of the little bag here. There, you can see my hands, but not my so that's all right for now. I'm emptying the beans in here. That's for the garbage. And I got this little bag of rice. There. So that's going to mingle and marry in that and that. Oh gee, I got that bean smell on my hands. I'm in trouble now. This is the dish detergent, Nature Clean. They changed their bottle and their labels. And I could never use it, so they must have changed something in the... Ingredients. I can't... I see, I, the, it's not a good time to go live because I can't think anymore. Washing dishes. Mm -hmm. Rinsing dishes. This water doesn't get very hot here. We must have the tank temperature turned way down so nobody will burn themselves. Hit. There she is. I didn't do the draft yet. Hi grandmother hiding. I don't think I turned that draft off, did I? I closed the door. No, I didn't. 
There, it's off now. Okay. All right. Let me know if you're there. And I'll start to unbox. Yes, you want me to? You're the only one here. I only see one person. This is an old thing. You could wait for a few people if you want. What should I do then? Start to sweep? We're digging the garbage. <laughs> garbage digger. I'll probably do the garbage. But I can't set the phone on the stove today because, yeah. Oh, you can see my legs and my hands. My legs in the garbage. I should have a glove on. A different glove. Here's one here. I'll use this one. Cat litter one. Okay, this is messy, yeah. Because there's two bags in here, but. I'm just going to put it all in one bag. Garbage digger. Do you have three bags or uh, compost and... and uh, three different bags for your garbage down there, Ashley. I don't even know if, if you live in a house or a... Oh, you do? Because I see a lot of people, they don't... Uh, sort their garbage. And, uh, yeah, and they throw all their compost right in with their regular garbage like we used to in the old days. It takes up a lot of uh, footprint in your home to have, well, we don't have a black bag, but we can have a black bag if we want. One every two weeks for each house. I'll see if there's any comments after I do this. I wouldn't want to do this with somebody's garbage that wasn't us. <laughs> wasn't our garbage. And if you believe it, my ex-husband, my first husband, is the garbage man. One thing he was not was scared of work. I gotta give, give credit where credit's due, right? Okay, I'm just going to put this light here like this, 
and we can we can just throw all the garbage in there. The blue bag's not full, and the other one's not full. I wanted to get the cat litter out, but I'm not going to walk through all that snow to do it. Let's see now. I found a nice garbage sorter. Hi, window. How you doing? At Canadian Tire, it holds three bags. Then I put the bottles and compost in separate bins. Oh, yeah, then bottles and cans go in a whole separate one, yes. Hi, uh, window. It's me, the Uber driver, yeah. <laughs> Just now waking up, getting ready for a busy day. Well, Richard and I was going to go live. Like, he got ready for work this morning. We had eight inches of snow last night through the night, and this morning it was still snowing. So he got ready for work, but they called and said no work. And then at, just before 10 o'clock, they called him and said, can you come in for 12 o'clock? And prepared to stay until 12 midnight. So we were going to go on live and we were going to unbag, and we were going to eat together, and we was going to play a game together, so that put the damper on that. So, yeah, the road is clear, and he got the four-wheel drive truck, so he got down. Oh, that would have been fun to see you guys go live together. Yeah, because somebody said the other day, about him and I going live together and I said well he doesn't like to do long videos and then they said I forget who it was they said well maybe do a shorter one <laughs> I don't intend to go three hours when I go three hours it just happens it just happens happy wild Wednesday friends it's the first day of March the radio person said it came in like a lion so I guess it must be going to go out like a lamb. Ha! <laughs> you girls see that calendar over there? <laughs> I told him, I, uh, no, I told somebody. I don't know if I told it to him or not. I said, I'm going to get a picture of my face and I'm going to put it on her body. <laughs> uh -huh. At least she's got clothes on. If she didn't, I'd ripped it right down. I should what? Put my picture on it or? <laughs> Ooh, she's going to have uh, coffee with us. Put your face on it. Yeah, that would be funny, wouldn't it? I wonder if he'd notice. <laughs> I'd have to have a pretty small little picture of my head. No, it's bigger than it looks on there. Yeah. But anyway, uh, okay, now it looks like there's four people here. I put my food in the oven out there, so my belly is growling. My, my belly's been growling. It's been growling this morning. I got two thumbs up. Thank you, friends. How many people should I wait for, Ashley? Thank you, Ashley. Everyone hit the like button, as she says. She drums up my business for me. Richard had both fires going here this morning. It's all up to me. The two, both fires going this morning when I come over. It was 70-something in here, and now I almost 90 in there. Which is... Uh, thank you. Okay, this is, I'm not going to unbag this because I already unbagged this once, but this does not work. This should not say 10 degrees because, and it, it, it just doesn't work. So when I went to do a refund, they said, well, uh, we don't want you, you don't have to send the item back. Well, we'll refund you this $5.97. So I was kind of waiting until the I see the refund on my statement before I uh, let him. He wants to take it apart and see what makes it tick because that's what boys do. Well, some of us girls do it too. But anyway, so that's the story of this. This does not work. We got to get a different one. 
So I decided I'm going to buy one. We're going to get one from a store in town just because, yeah, there's some things it's better to get from a store in town. You can see it, you can pick it up and something like that, you know it works because it'll be the temperature inside the store. Okay, so we got one here. Item will be held, will be held until, I don't know what that means. This one here came in the uh, Canada Post. Most of them are coming straight to my door now. Ashley, can you see this going? Ah! <laughs> Cats like to play with these, so I'll save that for her to play with. There's cat fur on it. Cat fur from over there. Cat fur from here. There's my melatonin. Somebody asked me if I tried it. Yes, I've been taking it for years. And this is the highest dose, I think. Melatonin, 10 mg's. Uh, maximum strength, dual, dual action time released. What do we got in here? Liquid uh, D3 1000 International Units. Uh, what's the... Oh. Oh, I thought I got some with 25. Oh, well. 180 soft gels. I don't like the pill one. Pills. The, like, I like the, the soft gels because they slip down my throat easier. Sometimes I have a problem with pills sticking in my throat, especially at night. And the doctor went down my throat with the light and he said, no, he said, you just think it's, you just think it's there. It's not really there. Well, how come it's making me swallow and, and swallow, I'm trying to swallow it down and, and it's giving me heartburn. How come that? So, so we're taking three of these each a day. I thought I ordered the 250, two. 2,500 one, but apparently I didn't. Apparently I didn't. So this is an Amazon haul live. A live Amazon haul. This is the one that came uh, yesterday, and I only, I ordered it late, late, late on the 25th. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, party time at the old homestead. Amazon unboxing. I have one thing I un un. Uh, oh darn! I was gonna make a video of this. Oh, in the gummies. Well, my B B twelve. I put it under my tongue and it just uh, dissolves. And the D three in gummies. Well, the D3 are easy to... What one is it that's hard to swallow? Uh, it might be my uh, Synthroid in the morning. Don't rock, chair. Why did I get up? Knife. Scissors. We'll use the scissors because we don't want to dull the knives. Herbal, Herbal Land. I never heard tell of that brand. Ashley, that their uh, thing that I downloaded, that hog thing. Uh, it came up and when it loaded a whole bunch of Amazon things that I had bought. And a whole bunch from Walmart. Pills Wally has been that way for me since I was a kid. Yeah, my sister too. My young, one year younger sister. She's always had a trouble uh, swallowing pills. Yeah. Oh, ha! This one is. I can't. 
trying to show the box and, and not to hide my face. But gee, that was hard. So they counted your online receipts right away. Well, I don't know because I don't know how to use it. I don't know how to check and see how many points I got or it looked like I had a hundred points. <laughs> this is crazy trying to unlo uh, undo this box. Oh, look, they don't have any, uh, there's no little bubble things. Hi, Annette. You got here just as I'm unboxing things. I already, well, I'm bagging. I unbagged these already. Yeah, I didn't even think about gummies, you guys. So... I, un I unboxed these, uh, Annette, since you're just getting here. And here it is. Sausage seasoning. They said it was almost as big as a quart milk jug. They stretched it. They stretched it. Boy, this has got some big, big crumbs in it. It's sausage seasoning with no salt. Crushed red pepper, garlic, fennel, seed, paprika, onion, parsley, ingredients. And then it says, reorder on the internet, Marshall Creeks. Anyway, I got it from, I ordered it from Amazon. I'm going to uh, try this at brunch time if I can get it unwrapped. Well, there's usually a, a perforated something. Here it comes. Oh, it's clumsy fingers. I'm going to leave this over here or pour some in a in one of his empty bottles, I mean. I guess one of these would be good for that. One of his gum containers. Because I can dump it in like that, close that up, and he can just uh, sprinkle it out. Or we can just sprinkle it out with the, the little... These are handy. We use these for a lot of stuff. Recycle. Okay, that was in here. It didn't have a plastic or a paper or anything. It was just rattling around in there. Some guy in a white car brought it. Well, I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. No, they said Mindy, so it must have been a girl. You guys are so resourceful. I like the reusing of containers. <laughs> yeah, well, he's... I don't know if I showed you guys this or not. We each got one of these. So we can go outside and bring in wood in the nighttime. Supposedly, you're supposed to allow, you can wave your hand and it's supposed to come on. I don't want to blind anybody, but it doesn't seem like it's... Oh! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> yeah, you sound like a sympathy card. <laughs> so it can uh, shine down at my plate if I was eating in the dark. <laughs> Oops. I thought I turned it off. And this here, you, you recharge it with your um, thing you recharge your phone with, which I should have mine plugged in. Thanks for... Okay, so let's do this live. Oh. Uh. Ha, ha, ha. 
this is his little foldable funnel. I don't, I've never used it. I don't know if he used it before or not. Okay, so now I gotta. That wasn't very glued on there very good, but. Oh, don't be smelling that now. Uh oh. <laughs> They're pretty big chunks of spices. The fennel seed are just whole. This is very spicy and smelly, so I got to get this closed up very fast. That's one of the reasons why I eat fast is to get the smell out from under my nose. But for some reason, when I got the food in my mouth, it doesn't come right in my brain the same as if I don't. So I don't know. I don't know, friends. Okay, there's his, his uh, sausage spices. So I don't know if I should take this one to the trailer or take this one to the trailer. I'll take this to the trailer and save him with this one. Okay, so now what do we got in the tickle trunk? <laughs> Richard calls it a tickle trunk. Something rattly, so. Another one of these. The cats like to play with these, so I'll throw them on the floor for Callie. <laughs> Oh, what do we got here? Vitamin C favorites. Remember, the other ones are orange, so I have to get my own kind. 100 caplets. These are slippery. These slip down. So we each take one vitamin C, 1,000 every day. And we take 2,500 to uh, 3,000 of the vitamin D3. Before I started, friends, I was very, very, very vitamin D deficient. Doctors don't check your vitamin D over here. But it must have been because I was having pains. I was so, I could hardly lift my arm to eat or to drive or to do anything. So that's why I just sat around and watched YouTube and crocheted. And uh, so, anyway, there's one more thing in here. Another vitamin C. <laughs> I must be ordering too much stuff. <laughs> this one's 150. Let's check the ingredients and see if it's got the citrus. Carbohydrate gum. Uh, vitamin C, ascorbic acid, 1,000 mils. Micro crystalline cellulose hydropropyl cellulose stear s t e a r i c acid coating is the gum and the serine vegetable grade magnesium lubricant silica i don't know what all those things are gee do i want to I like less ingredients, but this one's got Brazilian palm wax. It's got a shorter list of... Yeah, it's got silica. Isn't silica that stuff, the little packages of stuff they put in a bottle of pills or, or things that they don't want to get moisture in to wick the moisture? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, empty. Well, I guess I only had three things to open, and uh, and here they all are. No, yeah, because 
two things in each bag and one thing in the box. That's right. Okay. There we go. I don't know how to take a screenshot with, with when I'm on live. So, there they all are, all lined up. All lined up, like soldiers on a fence. No, like uh, kitties on a fence. So, what time is it? It's almost 12 o'clock, so I might as well get this ridiculous thing off my head. <laughs> it's not dark out, so I don't need that. Oops, my light flashed on. Oh, 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 friends, gee, blinded myself that time. Better not touch anything again. <laughs> I'm going to put all these in my green uh, Sobeys grocery bag. 25 cents these are, but they're worth it because they last. Hi, Rachel. How are you doing today? We had about eight inches of snow last night. Yeah, Richard and I was going to do a live together. We were going to eat and we were going to play a game and do this unboxing slash unbagging to the two of us. It's clear today, but it's going to warm up and rain for tomorrow, so I don't know. I hope it's not too slippery for me to go out and, and walk in the rain in my new rain jacket. Oh, you already have one inch. Usually it's the other way around. Over there you get more. Yeah. It is gorgeous outside. Well, I started a video before I went live, so I'll be uploading that tonight. Yeah, usually. But this time it was weird. And sometimes, or most of the time, we get more than the coast does. But this time they said the coast was going to get more than us, so... Rachel, I bought this from Amazon. It's sausage. It says, it doesn't say salt free on here, but it doesn't say salt in either. Oh, that's a nice day getting up to the 70s. So I poured some of this with Richard's little uh, foldable <laughs> funnel. I poured some in this gum container because it opens big here. And it opens little there, so I'll leave that over here and I'll take this to the trailer. I'm going to sprinkle some on my, on my food. Okay, so I got to go get my... And I got uh, vitamin D and vitamin C and another vitamin C and vitamin uh, and melatonin. I got all those. Oh, it's 73. High of 80 forecast for today in Central Texas. Do you guys ever see snow down there? Oh my goodness, it must be nice. Potty training. Woo! Yeah, I got a little potty here I bought for my great granddaughter. Because she used to, they used to come out before the pandemic. And she never got to use it because I said, no, we can't be having the house open anymore. Oh, Ohio window to my life. Oh, Ohio, you probably get some snow then, Rachel. And that is in Nova Scotia as well. Really, if so, a few hours before the sun comes out and melts it, yeah. And probably would be rare. Okay, so I got all the goodies in this. I'll tear my, I always tear my uh, labels. Um, yeah, I got that spice and food smell in my head, so in my brain, so if I'm struggling with my words that's why because that 
smell is in my brain. I always think it easy when the weather gets better. It's easy. Well, I like winter. I love winter, but there is a lot of clothes, yeah. Yeah, to put on where you get a lot of snow. Oh, yeah. Do you? Now, I uh, opened the door and um, cleaned the deck off before I come over. Just trying to see the labels here. Okay, that's good. That one's good. Easier to potty train when the weather gets better. He can, yeah, be out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my girls are going to be 51 and 52, so I did potty training, wow, a long time ago. I've never been to a hall, but I know the snow's there. Yeah, I've never been either. I'm tearing my labels off before I put them in the recycle garbage. Like I, I said before, my ex-husband, my first ex-husband, uh, works in the garbage, garbage. Yeah, I, and I gave him credit where credit's due, because he never ever, uh, he was always a workaholic, so. Why can't I get this off of here? Friends, why not? There, finally, gee. So this can go in the blue bag, this stuff. Or I can, uh, he has to use the potty but won't poop in there. Aw, he will. He will soon. My youngest daughter, when she was, when I was training her, we had an old time wooden potty chair that, uh, I don't know, somebody made it or your husband is too what? Uh, And yeah, and when she used to, it had arms like an armchair, and when she used to, when I used to pick her up off it, she would grab these and pick up the whole po chair. She was very strong. She still is. Oh, now it is overtime month. I hate this month, but the money is good. Good. Yeah, money. We need money. Richard didn't have work this morning. Rachel. And they called, he was all ready to go to work, and they called, and it was canceled because of the roads. So then, before 10 o'clock, they called him again and said, can you come in at 12 o'clock and be prepared to uh, stay until 12 tonight? So it could be a 12-hour, and eight hours would, would be overtime. So, yeah, workaholic, yeah. Okay, so now let me get rid of this stuff over there. All I can smell is that, that uh, spice. I got to get rid of it. Oh, this is probably why, because this here lid thing, I don't know what kind of neighborhood it is. Probably not the best. Oh, okay. Just, I'll be right there. Sorry, friends. Okay, so 
I got food in the oven out there. Potatoes and taters. There's always crime, so my husband always has work to do. Well, what does he do? Is he a police? Police? Policeman? You might have told me before, and I forget. You were going to make me hungry again. I made rice last night to have instead of potato, and I already tell I will miss having potatoes. I do too, but I'm going to have rice and potatoes. I got rice and peas and corn here with some onion in it, and then I got my beans that I made that I got uh, onion and garlic in them too. So I'm just going to put these ones in the microwave then. This uh, little dish here. Oh, just a minute. I see a comment. Yeah, Richard and I was going to go outdoors, and we were just going to have some fun outdoors as well in the snow. <gasps> oh, the other one's already turned off, though. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Can you only eat one or the other? No, I'm going to eat all of it. I saw this recipe where you make rice with soy sauce in the water and onion soup mix, so I had to try it. Oh, yeah, that would be very good. He is in, he, yes, he runs criminal courts. Whoa, yeah, I remember now. Yeah, that's quite an important job. My oldest daughter is in law enforcement. She, um, she studied to be, first she studied to be just law in like Halifax police, city police, and then she's, uh, um, studied to be an RCMP and the reason the RCMP uh, declined her was because of her uh, financial situation. She was divorced and on her own at the time. So, yeah. How many children do you have? I have two daughters. They're going to be 51 and 52 this year. I know. I had them both in the same year I was 19. 11 and a half months apart. This doesn't really smell like sausages to me. So, it better taste like sausages. <laughs> was there any other questions that I missed when I was... Ashley, well, it's lunchtime. Oh, If anybody, what is an RCMP? Oh, sorry. Royal Canadian Mounted Police. If you ever seen them with their bright red jackets and their, their black, I think they have black hats. I can't remember now. That's what we have around uh, communities. Like Halifax have their own, um, their own police to police the city. And... There is an RCMP station. She does work at, uh, she works in law enforcement in an office that at last I knew because she's the one that disowned me. Wow, four boys, 38, 36, and 34. Whoa. Uh, Rachel, mom of four boys, has four boys. Wait, 16, 13, 8, and Isaac. Is Isaac two yet? Uh, a big noise happened. I think maybe it's the icicles ha falling off the house. I don't know. Oh, okay, why do they care about your financials? Uh, well, I don't know. I, she told me at the time, but I can't remember why. Yeah. Yeah. And now she's working in there and she's making more money than 
anybody else I know an hour. Well, her sister is making 30 some dollars working in nursing homes when there's this company that Oh, well, he's soon going to be too then. There's this company that uh, nursing homes are always working uh, short on people, workers. So there's this company that made this company that they're, uh, they're hiring a bunch of like PCWs and CA, CCAs and that. And, uh, oh no, <laughs> temper tantrum. <laughs> uh, they're hiring them to work in these nursing homes and places that are working short. So they're not working short. And those people are getting 30 some dollars an hour, but they're not taking out income tax. They have to take their own income tax out. So, yeah. So friends, I'm going to go get my food. Hungry as a bear here. <laughs> well, I better take this and not juggle it. And you're plugged in though. So I'm going to disappear from, a few seconds there. Callie's in front of the stove over there. I got taters and potatoes. Yeah, I'm having a smorgasbord today. Thank you. Yes, I can't put uh, the microwave and that oven on at the same time. But luckily the oven was already turned off. This is still hot, so there's my that and there's my this. So I'm eating quite a lot of starch today. Rice is starch, beans is starch, potatoes is starch, taters is starch. Oh my land. 10 after 12. First bite going in. It looks like it's snowing. Just very fine flakes coming down. It's supposed to warm up and rain tomorrow. Oh no! Is he okay? Oh my goodness! Yeah, I know. Sometimes we say no for their own good, their own protection. <laughs> okay, friends. I'm just going to sprinkle a little tiny bit of this. Because what if I don't like it? Dirty spoon. I don't know if I washed it or if he did. So, this one's clean. I'm mingling and marrying. I'm going to put a sprinkle of this. First bite going in with the new sausage spices. It doesn't taste much like sausages to me. He just jumped right up and started playing. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that he didn't hurt himself. <laughs> then they do. They'll just, 
You say no, and they'll just look right in your eyes and do it anyway. Ha! Um, a long time ago, maybe 25 years ago, I babysat a baby. His parents tried to have a baby, and they couldn't. It didn't work. So, sprinkle some more in there. So they adopted a boy, eight years old. Bam, pregnant. And he was our miracle baby, the little boy that I was looking after. He used to like to climb up on the back of the sofa, too. He was a climber. <laughs> Bless his heart. He's a paramedic now. He's been to that, uh, where was that bad uh, earthquake uh, quite a few years ago now? Uh, that doesn't taste like sausages to me. And they still haven't got cleaned up from it. And then he went to another place where there was a disaster. Yeah. Those things are life changing. Those experiences. Oh yeah, he said he got too much summer savory on my spuds. Jump right up like a boing, like a... Um, jack in the box. The cat didn't try to get in my chair this time. We got these here knives, these colored knives at uh, Superstore. I don't know, Bridgewater or Liverpool, Ashley. No. I'll take a bite of this and a bite of beans because this is dry. The russet, sorry, russet potatoes. He moved this chair. I know he did. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> this is pretty, uh. Oh, yeah, I'm eating slow but sure. I might get some ketchup and put some ketchup. I was supposed to put them on for 10 minutes, I put them on for 20. Mmm.
No. I like the flavor of sausages, but I don't want to eat sausages. That's why I, I spied that. So I thought, oh, might as well get that. I didn't notice before, but this knife is bendy. Yeah, I'm eating all starch. Uh-oh. That's why I stopped losing weight. I don't know how what year or month it was, but because in 17 days, it's going to be five years. Mm. For me, since I started. Well, it was nice. What's the weather out there like? I know my sister's got a son out there. and My other sister's got two sons out there. And she said it was cold, cold, cold. Lord willing, and the creek don't rise. I don't know what I'll do different than I always do, but... Oh, March 18th, the snow could be all gone by then. This will probably be working, so... Oh my goodness on that. That one we had that here. Wind chill minus forty. That was the coldest we ever had here. <laughs> yeah, the we yeah, it might. From all the melting snow. <laughs> uh. According to how I feel, maybe go for a drive somewhere. Or walk down to the river. I haven't been down there for a long time. I always walk that way to see the ducks. I forgot about these two. Pieces of spud. This one's not dry like the other one was. Oh! Huh. No. Hot flash coming. Actually, it's right on the ball.
The reason I don't do a lot of uh, air fried vegetables is because it sucks all the the moisture out. And yeah, and I get a lot of my uh, liquid uh, hydration from vegetables. Fiddly D potatoes. Hello. Do I know you? Are you someone that changed your name? I already saw Richard and I already shoveled this morning. Well, I did the deck and he did out here. And he cleaned his truck off because he got a call to go to work for 12 noon. And maybe till 12 midnight. Fiddly D potatoes. Hello? I don't know what that means. Black Power Hastings Chapter. I don't know what that means. Ashley, do you know? Hmm. Just a local fan. In Shelburne, you are? Welcome. Did you get the same snow, six to eight inches? That's what we got overnight. Does that look like a bad egg? Black Power Hastings chapter. When I think of uh, people needing moderators, I'm thinking about like uh, Chantal and Nick Accato and people that have zillions of of uh, people, especially haters. I've never had a hater yet. Thank you. Love you guys. Yep, it's piled high in town. Oh, around in the mall and stuff where the snow is piled. If anyone is mean, make sure you give them the boot. I sure would. I sure would. I used to, uh, before they took away the, the dislike, I used to get someone coming in and, and hitting the dislike quite a bit. And I kept saying, well, if, if I knew what the problem was, I would try to fix it. Mmm. I love my beans and rice. I have to cook more rice. I think I only got one more little package left. I hope you don't hear a smack and I close my keep my close my mouth closed while I'm chewing. I try to. I'll try to look that person up. It is. It's a, a perfect protein meal, I heard. Margaret! Hi, Margaret from Florida. We had eight, eight inches of snow overnight. I cleaned the deck off, and Richard cleaned it off up here, and then he cleaned his truck off because he had to go to work at dinner time. 
They called 6.30 and said no work. Then they called before 10 and said, can you come in for 12 o'clock and be prepared to stand on 12 o'clock? I'm fine. I shuffled my way over here. And Richard and I was going to go live together and we were going to eat together, fix our lunch and eat together and play a game together and go unbox those things. I am bought, begged um, some uh, supplements and this. It's supposed to be sausage spices, but it, it doesn't remind me of sausages. Rice and beans and peas and corn. My whole meal is dark this morning. No. Not this morning, this afternoon. Can't be doing that very many times. Um, I warmed up the last of my taters. But I put them on the air fryer ten minutes too long, so they're quite, um, they're quite crunchy. <laughs> I hope nobody's got earplugs in. I did the garbage. They are, but I prefer not this crunchy. But I don't throw anything away, so I'll eat them anyway. <laughs> I straightened the blanket over there and played with the cat and washed a couple pieces of dishes and had tea because it's manic. Manic, no, it's a wild Wednesday. Cali too is good. She's laying over in, on the other side of the stove, right by the stove door, so I can't see her from here. She didn't try to get my chair today. <laughs> Is it nice and warm in Florida today, Margaret? <clears throat> Ashley. <laughs> And I assume it's going to get warmer. The sun is out here. It's melting. Melting off, off the icicles. Off the roof. I got three taters left. And three. Tiny bites of. Yeah. Richard's got a whole bunch of food cooked for me in the fridge, too. Carrots and turnip and cabbage and potatoes. Uh, I have another uh, YouTube friend, uh, Deb, from Deb's Way. <coughs> Uh-oh. 
Don't choke on camera. Well, how did I say that? Fiddly. Fiddly D. Potatoes. Is, is only 20 minutes away from me, so they might be able to call 911 for me. They'd have to break down the door. Um, they're 20 minutes away, so I'd probably die before they got here. So let's not choke, Patty. Uh, oh yeah, Dee, from, she's in Florida too. And uh, she's made sewing her, she likes to sew. And she sews um, her own tops and um, shorts and nightgowns even and dresses. Uh, Chantel, foodie beauty, she did give her cats away. She gave Sam to somebody that her mother knew, and then she gave uh, BBJ to somebody named Amy from the chat that she trusted. I don't know how she would trust her because I've never even heard her, you know, going on and on about Amy. Oh, yeah, that's right, too. Well, I guess you can go over and you can... If you got something that's at the right height, you can ram yourself into the, like the corner of the table or the stove or something. Anyway, she gave her cat to this Amy that nobody but her knew her tell of. And then, I don't know, that night or the next day, they all taunted her and said, oh, uh, they got the cat and they gave it to uh, yeah, FFG. So, her and Chantel are enemies. Hi, Tammy. How are you doing today? I'm just finishing up. One more crispy critter. I put the, the taters in the air fryer for 20 minutes and it's supposed to be 10. And I got a little bite of my beans and rice here. I've been... The whole meal is starch. Yeah. Oh, that's what I was waiting, trying to say before. I, I was... Um, and I stopped losing weight, and when I looked at what I was eating, I was eating three quarters of starch. Annette, fiddly D is only over in Shelburne. Yeah, a lot of people do. A lot, a lot, a lot of people. Should I have a pickle? Maybe not, because I just bit my tongue for that. It's a wonder I didn't scream. Oh yeah, the beach uh, thing. Richard said, well, that's a, that's a lot. He said, we wouldn't have time for all that. And I said, no, it's all going to be on the same day. Not just meet up with one person one day and one person another day. Uh, you're having a pickle? I'm going for my pickles. I can't have you eating pickles and not me. I got to put these in soak. Time. 
my pong friend. I bit it, I mean. Okay. I like that you guys talk to each other when I'm here or not here, indisposed. Getting a pickle. I'll be right there. It's hard to get out of this fridge. See this big one? Thanks to Ashley for telling me about it. Now we need a fork, another fork. I need a, I'll get this little tiny bowl here for my pickles. Oh, I cut my head off, just a minute. Uh. It's a lot of food at one sitting, but um, I only eat two meals a day. Two meals a day, and I love it. I love it. <laughs> Have a pickle. Here we go, pickle eater. Oh, stay safe and warm. We don't usually get the bad hurricanes bad. We have another snowstorm tomorrow? I thought it was supposed to be rain, Ashley. Oh, my heavens. I was going to go out and walk around in my new... Thank you. Thank you. You can never have too many people praying for you. <clears throat> Some reason that hurts up in there. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the weather report. <laughs> 80. Wow. That's, that's warm. No, that's hot. I got this, Tammy, from Amazon. It's supposed to be sausage uh, flavoring. Well, it doesn't taste like sausage to me. Seems like every time I bite on this side, it hurts over here. I get eight thumbs up. I wouldn't want my enemy to have my cat.
years ago. I gave four cats away. No, I gave three cats away. I rehomed three cats for a man. To be with a man, but it didn't work out. Uh, it was a two-week mar marriage. I know. I still feel guilty today. Actually, to this day. Oh, Maria. Uh, well, that's what Chantel was talking about. Yes. She didn't look in hard shape to me. She was still jumping up on the cupboard and, and to the back of her chair and stuff. I, yeah. Uh, my other cat, Bouncer, that I had before, she was 17 and she was such hard shape that she wasn't eating or drinking or going to the bathroom. Um. falling over and crying and yowling so we did we did end her pain and at the the vets yeah but how good is somebody that would take your cat and just to uh, torture you, how, how, how do you know they're, how good they're going to look after that cat? There's lots of other people to give it to, but. Eight thumbs up. You guys probably see nine. Well, if she's going to treat it right. My daughter, my youngest daughter and I used to rescue cats. Linda! I ate all my brunch and now I'm eating dill pickles. Hardly any car 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 calories to these. It says one pickle, two calories. Nine and nine now. Probably nine and ten to you guys. And before that, Linda, I unbagged and unboxed four, um, four supplements and this here. Supposed to be sausage spice with no salt. Yeah. Margaret, yes. I have these tiny, teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny, tiny pickles from Walmart. They are five calories for three. What, are they like gherkins? If it, that word is right. These are addictive. Everything is addictive to an addictive person. And that's me, addictive personality. All right, this will be enough. Your dills, but the jar says itty bitty. Oh, itty bitty garlic pickles. Oh, I just finished them. And what store did you get those from, might I ask? Oh. I never remember to go to the food section at Walmart.
Well, we did look at salt and pepper that day. Yeah. I have no clue when we're coming down that way again. I have no clue where my Walmart pet order is. The last, on the 21st of February, it said it was at Dartmouth. Two dollars? Whoa, I would have wanted to get a few jars. Pickles are good. I think they're good for us too, aren't they? See my snow people? Snow people earrings that Richie got me for Christmas? Aww. And I'm going to wear them until the 21st of March. Mmm! That's good! They're good even the next day, but they're even better if you leave them more than a day. And now I see other people on YouTube. Don't throw your pickle juice away. Put your vegetables in there. Yeah, I, I used to. I throw the dill juice away. I don't save that. Because I put some pickle juice in my... I don't think I ever tasted sour cream in my life, Linda. Sky high, I guess they are. Here, who? There was. I said it's hard enough for just me and Richard, but how? What about people that have a bunch of kids? See you, see you next time, Annette. Thanks for dropping by and conversing with us. <laughs> pickled eggs, yeah. I've put the pickled eggs in there before. Richard hasn't asked for boiled eggs for a long time. It's just as well because... Well, he takes a, um, a medication from... Oh, thank you. But you found him at the dollar store in Shelburne. Oh. Now I forget what I was saying. Oh, pickled uh, eggs. Because he does take a medication for cholesterol. She does. You are? Well, I do love my bling, <laughs> especially earrings. I can't wear regular chains on my, on my neck or bracelets on my hands. Last bite. I could sit here and eat them all afternoon, but I, I have to stop myself. So this is this is it. I know the whole table is full of stuff. Yeah. 
It's bad enough to get some out when we go for a supper or dinner at the mall. He eats two boiled eggs. And the time before, the doctor said, uh, we might have to up your medication for your cholesterol because it was looking high. So anyway, and then the last time he had it done, no, it didn't have to. It was, it was good. And the same with the sugar. The sugar was seven the time before, and now it's back to normal. Yeah, a boiled potato instead. Well, friends, I'm going to make my way over to the sink over there. And uh, I got my bag of supplements with me. I'm going to come right here and wash dishes. I'll check the comments when I get back. Oh, you need any cucumber, sliced cucumber. I'll eat some tomorrow. I'll eat some tomorrow. Let's see, where does this pot cover go? He's got a pot sitting out there with some potatoes and it peeled. The porch is even colder than the, uh, the fridge, so it doesn't hurt to have food out there. Oh, somebody's saying something. <laughs> Thank you, Ashley. Yeah, one of those uh, spoons was dirty. Well, it had dry food on it. I guess that's called dirty. Food dirt. The pump here and the water tank is in the in the basement in the cellar. It's a cellar. Oh, that one doesn't have a thing. The one I use has got a hole here so I can hang it there. Well, that's what I put in this bag. It's got all those supplements in it. I'll get that bag of uh, spice, bottle of spice.
Let's hope and pray it doesn't come open in the in the bag. On the way home. Oh, that wart. Does anybody else got a wart on their finger that every time you touch it, it hurts? And every few months it peels off. Yeah, there's a seller here. I'll show you. It's under here. We lift this thing up here, this hatch door up. I have to move that chair, of course, but... Yeah. I don't go down there. Richie does. Still. His father always used to go down there. I don't know how his mother ever reached that clothesline because I... She's shorter than me. I have to stand on my tippy toes. Oh. I uh, poured this here thing full of the spice for Richie over here. Because this here opens up big or it opens up small. This gum container. I think this is in the States too. This kind of gum. Oh, I shouldn't let that smell out. Oh. Uh, where's my tea? It's cold. Uh, I hate that chair. Did I say I hate that chair? I'm falling all the time. My glasses are falling off of me. Yeah, one of these days I gotta go to to town to the eye doctor place and. I'll do it one minute. One minute. Oh, okay, this stuff. I'm going to put it in the green car. I see a comment. Just a minute. Oh, I wish mine would disappear somehow. Yeah, cool. My uh, my old home used to have a cellar too. Had a wart on my hip once and had it sprayed by the doctor's office and it went away quickly with nitrogen. I've had them removed, yeah, years ago, uh, Linda. But, uh, yeah, we don't have a doctor anymore. You have to go and sit 12 hours waiting for a prescription or whatever. Uh, one woman even in New Brunswick here, I don't know, a month or so ago, she even died while waiting to be looked at at the ER. By the time they decided to look at her, because her husband kept going and saying, you know, she's in so much pain, you got to do something for her, but... They didn't do it, and by the time they did, her blood pressure was so low that they couldn't do anything. I almost fell over. <laughs> yeah, this one peels off every once in a while. It must be getting ready to peel off because, and it hurts. I never had a wart that hurt before. I always used to get warts when I worked at the fish plant. The fish. But I know that it's, they say it's a virus, don't you? A war and a virus? Golly's in there laying by that. So, I don't even think I'll bank the fire for Richard because if he doesn't get home until 12.30. Oh, well, won't your doctor take... 
Oh, all of you, so like a family? I was used to around here. Yeah, they're scarce all over, Linda. Nail polish, uh, Tammy, that would be my last resort because the smell of nail polish, I cannot be around the smell of nail polish. No. I would like my nails painted into my toenails like women do, but uh, I just... To put it on the wart, Ashley? Or to drink it? Put it on the wart. I, I think I do have apple cider vinegar. Too hot! Ah! Sorry. There's just not enough doctors, I guess. And this new new uh, thing they've got, Maple, M-A-P-L-E, where you can talk to a doctor live on a telephone or through your uh, phone or computer all over Canada, at least. And... Uh, but now that's getting so swamped that they don't have enough doctors to even do that. The other day I waited for three hours. Well, ten minutes before three hours was up, the thing come across the computer and said, Sorry, we had to cancel your thing. Try again another time. Oh, okay. Our last doctor retired. Uh, well, I guess it was during the pandemic because I had had a, I was having a telephone uh, appointment with him. You did, Ashley? Oh, no, Richard and I have sat there. Oh, well, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. I thought it was all over Canada, Linda. You should be first in line for a new doctor if yours retired. Well, apparently not because, well, we've been on the list maybe a couple years now. The first time I used Maple, I had to pay $49 up front before I got to speak to anybody. And then that's when I registered. And they said if you're on the registered for to get a doctor or a nurse practitioner, then it's free. So Oh, you were living in Alberta once, uh, Ashley? Yeah, live in the big cities. There's nothing to, it's, there's nothing to offer anybody to come and, and bring your family because lots of doctors are younger and they have big families and, and a wife and there's nothing there for them. I got to sneeze, sorry. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Just call me Pothead. Or Basin Head. Oh, Richard wants me to get him a basin. I never remember when I'm in front of... Oh! He ate all the... Um... Dried bananas. Pothead, I know. That could mean something else. <laughs> so I should have said Basin Head. He ate all the, the trail mix. The... All the trail mix and the peanuts are all gone and the bananas are all gone. Oh, thank you, Tammy. You got a nice dog to walk? Dogs are a good motivation. He didn't want to tempt me. Yeah, yeah, Ashley, that's it. Uh, it had nothing to do with the 12 o'clock munchies. <laughs> he prefers to eat late. He doesn't eat much during the day, but he eats his supper like 10, 10 or 12 o'clock at night. 
and that's not good for your digestion, so I've heard. But he doesn't have anything wrong with his digestion. Very, very rarely has he said, oh, I got heartburn. Good. Uh, eight would be my biggest window. Yeah. From, uh, yeah. There have been a handful of times that I have eaten my uh, dessert, like, between seven and eight. But if it was later than that, I would just wait until the next day. I should have some banana ice cream tonight. I already had it twice recently, though. Yeah. Banana ice cream. Yeah, I was going to get... There's a new ice cream maker. I'm trying to think what it's called. Oh, it's a Nutra... No. A Ninja Creamy. C-R-E-A-M-I. Creamy. I was going to get one of those and put it over here. So I can make some banana and ice cream over here. Can't wait until it's warm enough. warmer. I get so cold when I eat an ice cream. <laughs> well, if I'm cold, I put my little heater on, my little ceramic heater on. Yeah, I know. It looks like when I was watching Chef AJ and she was doing the Nutra Milk Machine, well, that sold me. I wanted one, and I got one when I lost my 100 pounds. I got it. I said to Richard, and he said, well, order it now. By the time, it'll be here by the time you lost your hundredth pound. So anyway, I got it. And now, after the uh, Ninja Creamy, now I wanted that one. But I already spent all this money on that one. But that one does make, it makes uh, plant milk and nut milk and nut butters and uh, raw vegetable juice, uh, broth. A blue tick hound. Ashley, that's just brilliant. How brilliant are you? I got the one for my 100th pound loss. That was three, three years, two months or something like that. So, I'll soon have that, that machine, not your milk machine, a couple of years. Soon. You have to. Then I can live, live through you using it. <laughs> I know. I li I live vicariously through others too. If when I was not, you know, when I stopped eating this and that, and late at night, and stopped drinking this and that, and everything, but I would watch the the mukbangers eat it, and somehow I wouldn't get triggered and want some. I would get uh satisfied like so yeah what a good idea I must tell that to Richie he told me to get one anyway he said order it anyway this was a few months ago he said get it anyway but yeah but now I'm spending 60 extra dollars a month on my internet in the summer if I can I saw someone freeze a can of peaches, peaches and use that to make sorbet. It looks so good. Yeah, that's what Chef AJ does. She, uh, I first saw her do it with a can of pineapple. Can of pineapple. And she called it pineapple dole or I don't know. There was some fad thing. Anyway, show him videos. You could make him chocolate ice cream. It would be better for him than... You know, that Dole Whip. I don't know what that is. It must have something to do with pineapple. So, yeah, and friends, and I, uh, and also I got the other thing, the, uh, what's that one called? The Yo Nana's machine. I got that sitting home on the counter. That hasn't seen the light of day for years yeah it has something to do with disneyland she said oh okay then dole whip anyway she said it's delicious 
But if I'm going to get it, I don't want to get the the older version. I want the... Well, I think of that too, Ashley. And then I think, well, no, I might want it. I'm the awfulest one to get rid of stuff. Um, yeah, that's our problem. We're both, well, I won't say hoarders in the sense that, you know, you can't move around your house, but I don't like to give anything, you know, get rid of anything, either give it, sell it, throw it, and neither does he. So, yeah, I remember back to, I don't know, this must be 15 or more years ago. Yeah, we're collectors. <laughs> I'm banana and ice cream collector. <laughs> Machine collectors, I mean. Oh, and that reminds me, I have a, a different one, too. The ice cream maker thing. I forgot about that. That's out in the cat room. That's been there for many years, too. I should have a appliance. Appliance sale. <laughs> what do they say? One poor man's got one ice cream maker and a darn poor one's got four? <laughs> well, three. It would be four if I got that one. Oh, yeah, that's what I was saying. I don't want to uh, get the first ninja, though. I want the second ninja, the one with the bigger capacity. It is? <laughs> Ashley, you are a woman of many... <laughs> What's the word? <laughs> uh, I can't think today. My brain just won't let me think today. You're... Uh... Something and a master of none. Jack of all trades, master of none. That's it. Whoa. That's your other specialty, filling in what I can't think of. <laughs> it's soon getting time. I know people will be put away. And I got little skates hanging around that I uh, crocheted on the same wavelength. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool since, you know, I'm a little out there. A lot of people don't think the same as I do or something. Maybe I'm just a modern 70-year-old. <laughs> Icicles are dripping. When I go to my mom's, I help her get rid of things, and she gives me things to sell for her. Wow. Oh, I'm glad you still got your mom. Yeah, I miss mine. Still miss her. It's going to be 18 years. And I was 50-something. Yeah, almost. I was 52, I guess. And it was still the hardest thing that ever happened to me. And I had some bad things happen to me too, but that was the worst. That was the worst because me and mommy were like this. There wasn't a time that we weren't close. Well, I was in the city for a year, but yeah. Mountain Road we lived on. Uh, you Nova Scotia people in here. Yeah. Cherish her, yeah. Give her a big squeeze for me someday. <laughs> Say, this is from that crazy old lady up on the South Shore. Or over on the South Shore. Yeah. <laughs> Would she? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm going to have a whole troop. A whole troop, a whole gang. The gang's all here. Oh, that's what I started to say about Richie the other earlier. He said, oh my goodness, that, that would take too many times. Uh, I told her about your weight loss. She was depressed. She is trying to lose weight. Well, 
uh, if she was hangs around with you and sees you eating more vegetables and stuff, well, it could rub over on her. That's what happened to my daughter. And the last I knew, she lost, I think, 68 or something. And she had to lose uh, for a couple of operations she had to have, too. Uh, and she's, you know, she's young. Um, yeah, and he said, oh, uh, that would take too much time going to the beach all these times. I said, no. I said, hon, I think they mean all of us at the same time to meet up. Because we talk in here together, so it's like not just my friends, but friends and friends of friends of friends, or whatever I'm trying to say. But you know what I mean. They said, oh, just one time then. I said, yeah, you'd have to be the camera person. Hmm. <laughs> well, I'd have him have one, and I'd have one too, but, well, we'd have to be careful, because some people might not want to be on, uh, we just won't take pictures oh hi Barbara how you doing yeah uh, work comes first yeah I know the last one I did the last live I did I accidentally erased deleted it you know how they say when you put something on the internet it's there forever but I don't know because I don't know where to find it at even though I'm an introvert, I could deal with one day of being social. That's me too, uh, Ashley. Yeah. But I think it would be better because I feel like I know you guys instead of like going to some place alone that you don't know a soul around you. That, that I would, I don't think I could do, but. Like. You guys know you talk amongst yourselves sometimes and talk with me and yeah. Yeah, Michelle called Michelle uh, at Michelle the introvert and then I realized, well, I'm an introvert too. And I think a lot of us are. I seem really outgoing and sure of myself here, but get me somewhere like, I don't know, in a store or or a place where there's peop a lot of people like. But I think I would feel comfortable enough. Because, well, I don't know how long I've been going live now. But, I don't know. As you guys are all nice and everything. I don't feel scared or anything. So, nervous. Like, poor Chantal. She can't even go out her door anymore. They're leaving notes on her car and everything now. Yeah. But anyway. So I don't know if she's already gone back to Kuwait or if she's still in Ontario. Because she said she was taking a couple of weeks off. And she couldn't say when she was going because there's weird people that will follow her there. We have to trust people first, yeah. Yeah, I, I trust all you guys that I'm speaking to here. Like, you know, I don't feel like any of you is just going to be a hater to me and do anything mean to me. Well, I don't know. I feel myself running downhill. There's snow flurries falling down so ever so just fluttering to the ground. There's no wind out there. Richie will go and be security just in case. Yeah, he can be a security guy. <laughs> he can, you know how they always have a, t a tag on them with their name? He can wear his jacket with his name here. <laughs> That's the bad part of putting yourself on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Because felt like a sprig of salt or something under my nose. Oh, don't look at my uh, mustache. 
Um, what is because, Linda? Oh, she did. What? Oh, I must not have saw the saw the notification. I'll look it up. I can watch when she's not going on and on and on about the same thing and the same this and that and the other thing. I can't handle that. You know, talking about the haters and reacting to them. And uh, she herself admitted that she does stuff to attract the drama. Oh, yes, Linda, yeah. Well, I find on you guys easy to trust. So, there was one person come in here that, I forget what they said. Something about black, something secure, uh. I don't know what it was they said now. I'll have to go back in the transcript and, and see what that was and look that person up. Because that's the only thing they said. They never... I said, well, I don't recognize you. And they never said no. I said, I don't understand what that means. And they never said anything else. I don't know if they're still here or not. Because sometimes when I'm watching people's lives, I lurk. I lurk and I don't say anything. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see the snow falling down or not. Yes, I believe so. I can see it on the screen. Pick a boo. <laughs> so it's just coming down. Uh, I must look at the weather on the other phone. I got it. I might as well use it, right? Swipe to unlock. She's been posting on her community post. Okay. I never remember people's community posts. Oh, Ashley, there's our conversation. <laughs> what was I looking for? Oh, yeah, the weather. I don't mean to be rude, but I'm going to show you guys, too. Seven day. Okay, today. Can you see? No. Mostly cloudy. 60% chance of flurries. while well, we're getting that. Or rain showers. Tonight down to zero. And tomorrow four above and rain changing early in the afternoon except snow inland. So sometimes we're called inland, sometimes we're not. So... I want to be able to go out and walk around in my um, new rain jacket. That's what I want to do. Tomorrow, but it'll probably be too uh, messy underfoot. I don't know. I have to wear my... I don't know what I'll wear. Because if it's slushy, the ice cleats don't do you any good. It's got to be ice. So, yeah, it's melting. The snow is going off of that brown truck there. More the snow than rain. Uh, you would? In the winter, you mean? We were kind of liking the, the open winter for going outdoors and working and doing stuff outdoors instead of just you know, shoveling snow or, or playing. Uh, but anyway, it's, at the, it's, it's the first of March. It's not going to last. So I'm not going to... In this case, I like the snow better. <laughs> Before I met Richard, I, uh, we always wanted to have some snow on Christmas Eve and, and have a white Christmas. And then when I met Richard... In the end of uh, October, the end of October, 82, and I met his parents. His father was a snowplow driver, and if it was snowing, he had to go out on the roads and 
be out where it's dangerous and not home with his family. So I never, I never wished for that again. I just hate rain, except it helps things grow. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I, I thought you meant hate. Yeah, it does make things grow. The grass, the rain. I used to like walking in the rain when I was dressed for it. Or even when I was, like, in a very depressed uh, mood back years ago. I used to walk in the rain just and get wet. Yeah, uh, I I watched her more back then than I do now too. Oh yeah, muddy dogs. Yeah, yeah. I don't have to worry about that. But you got a point there. But window, I I watched her recently and. There's a lot of them I had to skip over, and some of them, uh, some of them I will watch and listen to, but, yeah, if she's reacting to stuff or talking about other, you know, I just wish she would just do, do stuff instead of just sit there, and, well, that's all I'm doing now is sitting here talking, so I suppose. You'd rather watch a reaction, a reaction channel that breaks down her nonsense into ten minutes. Oh, <laughs> oh I never got into watching the the um, reaction channels, but yeah, I, I like it. You know, if you go out to have a meal somewhere or go for a walk or or I don't know, go to the store and uh, and halls and stuff like that and. And I used to love it, the cats. And now that the cats aren't going to be there, it's not going to be the same. Because <sighs> when, when she moved into that place they call the villa, well, I thought, oh, I'm going to miss BBJ jumping up on the back of her chair. But then when she was there, and then she had her chair in the kitchen, and there, there was BBJ up on the back of her chair, and she'd turn her chair around on the train station or something she said and I used to love that and when Sam got bees in around <laughs> Missy does that she gets the zoomies I call it the zoomies she gets it about midnight and she doesn't care she goes like a bullet and she runs right over me she doesn't even care if I'm there in her path and we did have a, a, a cat his name was Squeaky and he was a really naughty boy he was into everything he was a naughty boy, but he was some kind of a cat. He was a, a great big um, Maine Coon, Tiger Stripe Maine Coon. I'll try to put his picture up. He was bad. He was into everything. So that's why we got messy. I said, let's get another one. I said, maybe it'll keep him company and he won't get into such mischief. But that didn't work. We ended up with two cats, and he was still as naughty as ever. So then Richard was out around the yard one day. This is what? Uh, 2007. Richard was outdoors, and I was in there. And he come in, and he said, You won't want to see what I got in, in, in the shed out there. I said, What? What could you have in the shed? I said, have you got another cat? Or something like that. And I went out and looked and he had live trapped a, a wild black cat that had been in our yard, living under our trailer and in our yard all that time for two years and I didn't even know it was there. I never laid eyes on it. And then one day after he told me that, no, this was... No, I did see it one time. And it was running from the house over towards this way. And it looked like it was gray. It looked like it had a big gray fluffy tail. And, but when, when he live trapped it, it was all black. And it lost, it had mats. It was all matted. And all the mats came off of him. And then he come in this shiny black, black fur. And we kept him out in the back room for six months. 
And at four months, I said, let's take him to the vet and get him fixed because if we have to let him go, if he doesn't tame in six months, we'll let him go. But at least he won't be out there populating, overpopulating the, the cat world. Oh, uh, Linda, that's going to be really nice. Oh, Sean. Hi, Sean. Oh, I forgot to say hi. See ya. See you next time. Anyway, so we took him to the vet and got him all fixed and two more months. And then finally he started to peek around the corner. And Richard said, he's peeking around the corner. The door down the hall was open. And Richard was in the bedroom and I was up in the living room. He's peeking in. So I come down and we're, did he? Oh, I hope I remember next time. Sorry, Sean. You guys have fun. Have a nice walk. Uh, so I went down and uh, we had a long stick with a piece of string on it. And Richard was doing this. And uh, Squeaky and Missy were playing with it. And he peeked his head in around there. And he would just, every night he would come a, a few steps closer until he was in the bedroom playing with the thing too. And then I don't know how long it took him to come up the hall into the living room with us. No, she's not. I continue to pray for her. I have faith that, you know, she will make it. Addictions are very hard things. I know. I, I have an addictive personality. I've beat cigarettes and I beat food and processed food, I should say. And I beat, uh, what did I say, cigarettes, booze, and processed food. Now my addiction is YouTube. <laughs> I say, oh, I'm not going to video today. First thing you know, there I got the, the uh, camera in my hand. I thought I did a shorter one yesterday. And after editing, it came out still. It was 51 minutes. So I'm just, I need some kind of intervention. No, I didn't mean that Chantel was a bad person, Margaret, or whoever just said that to me. I didn't mean that at all. I love her and I pray for her, but I just can't always listen to her. You know, you can love somebody, but you don't have to like their actions, like e even your own kids. You love the person, but you don't love the actions. Yeah. <sighs> Green tea today, Wild Wednesday at the Old Homestead. I think I've been watching Chantel and Nicocado, Avocado for, well, before five years. I, I think I, I used to watch them before uh, I started this. And I'll soon be five years. March 18th will be five years for my journey. I'm going to have some kind of a live stream on that day. Fingers crossed, everybody, that... I'm feeling okay that day and not groggy from not sleeping. And I got to try to think of something for a, a live stream. March 18th. Well, the snow's all gone. We could go to the beach. Take a drive to the beach. Uh, I'm feeling myself wearing down. I, uh... Yeah, I wake every night in the middle of the night for uh, I don't know how long, so. And I only go to sleep two or three o'clock in the morning. <sighs> I hope the starch fairy comes to you for your five year, the starch fairy. <laughs> 
I know. That's what, that's what I'm praying for, too. Because, yeah, you know, I, well, I suppose I used to do it, too. Lately, I would say, oh, I'm supposed to be, you know, I got to be healthier. I got to be on a diet. And I was still stuffing the, the, the food because I didn't realize I didn't realize that it was a food addiction, a, a processed food addiction. Yeah, I didn't realize that. And yeah, you can't, you can't do it. You have to, I guess you have to realize that first. But when you just, you know, say, well, I shouldn't be eating this, but I am and laugh about it. And, and uh, when it's your health, if you've already got bad health, but. Anyway, it took me until I was 66 years old, so who am I to talk, right? Hmm. She's not even 40 yet. No, I think she's 38. I think she's 39 this birthday. That war is bugging me. It's half off. And it hurts. It's bugging me. Oh, yeah. Uh, apple cider vinegar. What's that going to do for it? Will that keep it from coming back or dissolve it or something? Oh, gee. Look at all the wrinkles and the flab. One of uh, my subscribers said, well, I'm old and I got... I get that too, but... And I was never overweight, so... And that took me back before five years ago when I, when I, uh, before I started and my sister, I was at my sister's and, uh, she said, look at that, hold your arm down like that and see, and see, and I held my arm down like that and wrinkles appeared. And that's, this was all full of fat by at that time. Oh, okay. A band-aid with apple cider vinegar. Or, yeah, or a little piece of gauze if I don't have a band-aid. And some kind of tape around it, I don't know. All band-aids uh, I can't use because a lot of them smell, have a medicated smell to them. So I can't use them. And that, you know, when you go to get your blood tested, they can find my veins really easy now. Anyway, um, and they do that, and then they put the cotton ball on there, and then they put that uh, tape on there, that kind of papery tape. Smell that sometimes. When I was... Uh, how old was I in 1983? 31. And I had my tubes done. And uh, a sister moved at the same time. And they had one of those bracelets on. If you ever smell them, they smell just like baby powder. Well, I had to get them. To, I, I couldn't have that on there. I was just sick, 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 sick. Anyway, so they ended up putting it on my on my ankle. That's I was 31, and now I'm going to be 71. 40. Also, stop watching Nick for the same reason. I like watching people live in their lives, not destroying it on camera. Yeah. I like... Uh, once in a long time, I'll take a peek uh, and see what Nick's up to. But he says now he's 365 pounds. I did watch one the other night. He, it was like he fell off his scooter in the woods. And I watched a few minutes of it. Yeah. I like to watch the more positive channels. Because that, that helps. If you want to be a positive person, I guess. And Ow, oh, that hurts. Oh, I almost got it all picked off now, but it hurts worse. Oh, no, now there's only four people. I hope I didn't scare them away because of uh, chatting about uh, other people. I is, uh, is that gossiping? Is a ow, because I don't like to. I don't like to gossip. 
I don't think it's really gossiping, is it? I don't know. I have to look up the meaning of gossip. Ashley probably needs. Oh, your internet cut off and switched to your phone. Oh. Ashley, what's the definition of gossip? Is what we were just talking about, uh, like Chantel and Nikocado, and are they? Yeah, I can't either. Because I don't want to be gossiping. Ow, that hurts. But now it's just so almost off. Talking about even if you're not sure if things are true, you're saying. Uh, as far as I know, everything I said was true. As long as what they were saying was true. Ow. It's coming off this time, friends. No. One more. One more pull. I'm going to have to grit my teeth and just do it. Oh, there's where it was. It must have seeds or, you know, how they say a wart has seeds and, and more grows. But it's only the one. But I do think it's getting bigger with age. I'll put that on the table there. <laughs> Hope I remember to put it in the garbage before I leave. <laughs> we don't want the table growing warts. Okay, well, I don't want to be known as a gossip, so gossiping isn't very nice, so I won't mention again. Well, I'll try my best, because sometimes I say I'm not going to do anything, I'm going to do it anyway, but still snow fluffy, snow flurrying. Oh, what time is it? Oh, it's almost 10 to 2. Anything else to talk about or do before we leave, before I leave? Because I feel the sofa going like this at me. And as soon as I lay down with that blanket, them cats is right on. They love that blanket. It is so soft. It's just like very soft, velvety, very thick velvet, like a plush, or it's just so soft. And they love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me? <laughs> Me? Funny? <laughs> well... Me and Richard, we were both class clowns. My mom was funny. My mom could crack the... Well, she used to say stuff in kind of in a serious way, but it was meant to be funny and it would get everybody laughing. And Yeah. <laughs> My mom. Richard's mother is like that, too. She's... She's kind of introverted. Yeah. Bless her. She just turned 90. Valentine's Day. She's waiting for a, a room at a assisted living facility. A discussion and opinions. Okay, then. Well, I wouldn't want to... Okay, I got two vitamins, two different vitamin C's. 
uh, vitamin D3, my melatonin 10 milligrams, high, high dose, uh, time released. And what else was it? There was four things. Two, okay, that's two vitamin C's, vitamin D, uh, melatonin, and the uh, sausage spice that doesn't even remind me of a sausage. I know. And here I got this giant bottle of it. So now it was $14.10, so I'm not going to be throwing it away. <laughs> we'll eat it. He'll eat it. He'll help me eat it. Yeah, well, maybe we'll see if the other guy, the, the, our friend, wants a bottle of it. <laughs> I'll I'll do him a bottle like this and see if he wants to try it. One time I got something. It was called um, I don't know if it was almond or some kind of drops, concentrated uh, drops of. I don't know if it was almond or hazelnut. I think hazelnut, maybe. And you're supposed to drop it in your coffee and it's supposed to flavor it like there's flavored cream or things. And I tried it and Rich tried it. And neither one of us liked it. So we gave it to him. I don't know if he... I think maybe Richard said he didn't like it either and just dumped it out. Yeah, because... I always seem like I see a hair on the bill of my hat. We only know what they say and do on their channels, so it's not gossip. Anyway, it's my view of why I don't watch some channels, and I do enjoy your channel. Oh, thank you. <laughs> now I'm going to be blushing over here. <laughs> well, I try to be as real as I know how to be. The spice is for soup. You mean I'm supposed to put it in the soup when I'm cooking the soup? Because I like to add my spices after so that I can have a bowl full of it here with this flavor and a um, bowl full over there. Nap time. Yeah, nap time party. <laughs> Some people, they say they put on sleep cams, that they put the camera on them sleeping and people actually watch them. I've never done that yet. Uh-oh. My my uh, phone wants me to get up and move. Yeah, okay. I'll get up and move in 10 minutes. Uh, this is almost needed to go in the microwave again, but I'm going to guzzle it so I don't have to. It's only a drill in there. Well, my mouthfuls, it's probably about four of them. I don't take very big mouthfuls. Like if I'm drinking my water out of my bottle, oh, I can't reach it, but I'll take about this much out. Richard will take a half a bottle or more. I know. One night in the night, he said he woke up and drank four bottles of water. In the middle of the night. If I wake up in the middle of the night, I'll take a sip. Because I don't want to get up and have to go to the little girls' room again. I don't like why. Years ago, I had to go to the bathroom. I had to get up five times a night. I had something wrong with my bladder that... And I forget what it was called. That any time you moved and the urine would move, you didn't have to pee. But if the urine would move in your bladder and it would burn inside the bladder and it would you know make you have to go, go to the bathroom and i think that's what i had yeah i was up five times a night back then so and i don't even know what year ago that was that's i can't even some years i can remember patty going through her secret passageway <laughs> yeah i love my secret passageway it's not that secret with the with the, the leaves on, but when the leaves are on, it, it's I like it in the fall when the leaves are turning colors, then it's really nice. Yeah, I don't know what year him and his father built that road to go between, and I always liked it. 
walking through or driving through. I hardly ever use our own driveway anymore. I come through here and go out one of these driveways because I'm more down at our driveway. We're closer to a corner. So if I come out one of these driveways, I'm more in between the two corners. Yeah. Yeah, one time Richard was over there. He was in the ditch. That might have been the time my blue exercise ball blew out of the screen room and blew down the driveway and across the road into the ditch. I didn't even know it was gone. And then I was coming home from that way and I was, that looks like my blue exercise ball. Anyway, so he went down to get it. And when he got it, I don't know, it must have been... I don't know if there was snow on the ground or the road was just slippery. Anyway, truck coming from around that corner down there. And it was swerving and swerving in the middle of the road like this. And it looked like it was coming straight for him. There's nothing he could have done. And But the guy just straightened up in, in the nick of time that he didn't go in the ditch right where Richard was. I don't know. Now we've got a thing on the on when the door closes. This latch thing latches. So the wind doesn't blow that door open anymore. I guess you live and you learn, right? <laughs> Hopefully we learn by our mistakes. Richard wore this or took this with him to, to work yesterday. He's not allowed to wear a watch at work or rings or earrings, anything like that. So, but he had it in his pocket. And uh, when he got home, he had, uh, it was close, closer to 10,000. There was nine, uh, nine, seventy-seven something. So, and he pushes. The, well, he doesn't push it, but it's a, it's an electric motor, uh, pallet jack. I remember it, Ashley, pallet jack. And he's walking that back and forth all day long, so he doesn't have to stand in one place all the time. Uh, some of the workers there, they uh, change them over. They'll be at one thing at for two hours, and then they'll go to another thing for two hours. Yeah. That would help with the boredom, too, I think. You know, standing in one place for four hours, and then another four hours, all in one place, putting the fish in the box like this. Ashley knows what I mean. <laughs> yeah. I remember those days. Count the perch. Don't put any more than 13 in that pound pound uh, box. I used to love it, though. I loved it. I loved everything except the smell and being sick. Big blue ball on the road. Oh, my. It was down in the ditch. My big blue exercise ball. It's under the table out there in the screen room where the Instapot is. If I remember the next time I go out there, I'll take a picture. <laughs> yeah. I bought it from my sister-in-law, I think, for $15. Not knowing that a lot of them have a weight in them. So it doesn't roll, keep rolling away on you. Well, that one doesn't have any weight and it keeps rolling away. When I'm trying to use it, it's, um, you know, I'm... But anyway, I got it. It's pretty blue, too. Pretty blue. Yeah, I know. I was scared. That, how come somebody didn't see that in the road and stop and, and pick it up? They wouldn't know that it come from across the road. Maybe they think it fell off a truck or something. Yeah. One time we found a mattress. <laughs> they must have blew off of someone's truck. It was it wasn't a very high end mattress. It was quite flimsy, but it was wrapped in plastic. I forget what happened to it. I don't know. That's years ago too. <sighs> Ah, uh, yeah, Richard's not going to get home until 1230, so I'm not going to bother to put wood in the stove. 
It's nice and warm in here. It's like a two above two, so and it's not going to get any colder, so he'll make the fire when he cuts off work. He usually comes here and unwinds, plays with the cat. Well, even if he before the cat came here, he he would stop here and do whatever he does here. He cooks. Oh, me too, Margaret. I know. Well, I never would have knew what happened to it. It was one of those hurricanes. I think maybe Hurricane Dorian or Dorian or Fiona. I don't know which. Probably, probably Dorian. I think that one was longer ago. Yeah, I wouldn't have knew what happened to that. Yeah. I'll be going out in my screen room as soon as it, the weather. And it's all got a roof on it. And I can go out there in the rain or the snow if I want to. We just covered it in plastic this year, so. And that way I can see through it when I go out to cook my soup. Or I can see through it. And it looks better, too, when you're looking at it than those boards we had on it that last year, last winter. And the winter before. I forget what year we made that now. I don't know, this is going to be the fifth spring. Uh, I know it's more than three, but this is only the third winter I can account for. I don't know if the first winter, if we didn't cover it with anything, I don't know. Oh, don't rack your brain, Patty. Don't rack your brain. You'll hurt yourself. <laughs> well, I'm soon going to pack up. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know she got up there in that chair. <laughs> she came out here earlier when Richard was still here. She came out. And she stood up and did this to his jeans way up by the pocket because she's so tall and her legs are so long. And she clawed like this. And so he reached down and patted her and she turned around and come this way. And he started following her and she meowed, meow, and right over to the dish she wanted him to feed her. She's an intelligent girl. <laughs> Not letting on she hears me at all. Yes, uh, Margaret, it is cold out there. I don't have anything out there liquid or anything that would freeze, but everything's okay out there. All the things that I do have in there. And my iPod still works uh, when I, it just takes longer because it's cold, but it still works out there. And I, um, if I get a, another air fryer oven, I'll, I'll put one out there, but I don't know. Mm, I don't know. I know she's so sweet. Not paying any attention though, but because <laughs> her ears aren't wiggling, but she probably still hears me. I'm starting to get a headache, girls. Well, I don't know if there's any boys here or not, but there's uh, something. Yeah, that might be it. <laughs> Smells like my beans. Bean juice must have fell on it. I'm going to put it under that. So I can't smell that and see if that fixes the problem. 
But a lot of times I can't spend, you know, more than four or five hours over here. I didn't sweep. I'll have to sweep tomorrow. I did that garbage, but I'm not going to plow through the snow to go down to it. Yeah, I, I use it all winter. I can go out there all winter and still cook my soup out there. In the summertime, I can get out from spring, summer, and fall. I can get outside, even if there's bugs or if it's too hot, sunny. I can take shelter under there, and I'm still outdoors, but it just increased my living area, space area. So, yeah, we always used to buy a big screen tent, and that was costing us like $300 a year because the sun would just weaken the, the top of the, you know, the tent part of it. And, well, one time we thought, oh, gee, this is good. We're going to be able to use it for the second season. And it came a hailstorm, and the hail, the those hail hails just went right through it, tore it and shredded it to, to pieces. So they only would last one year, one summer, spring, summer, fall. So, uh... That thing was $800, that room, to build it, and the screen and stuff. And, and uh, well, he we had a friend help him, so we didn't have to pay anything to a carpenter. But uh, him and Richard built it, and it cost 800 And so it's well paid for itself, overpaid for itself now. He's got an electrical uh, plug thing on the end of a big electrical wire. It was in the shed. Because before, four years ago, when he got this house, um, he used to cook in the shed. We had all kinds of, we had a propane stove in there and microwave and he had electric frying pan and another microwave and what all, a toaster oven. He had that black fridge out there and uh, dishes. Are you going to make a garden this year? Yes. Yes, we are. Over here. Over there, I'm going to put things in buckets, like my cucumbers and tomatoes. Great sitting area. I would love to sit outside without the bugs biting. I know. I do love it. And the rest of the time, when I do go out, I have my bug hood. So, I dug that up. I know exactly where that is. So, and Richard's got a couple of bug jackets he's dug up. So, because anything over six, six degrees, the ticks can be out. They can be out all winter. I haven't found any on the cats this winter, but Richard did have one in December biting his belly. Yeah. So, and I know I don't wear that bug hood for the ticks, but um, the black flies... They're here, I don't know, around May. I don't know if they're going to be here early this year or not. Did you? <laughs> you had a wood ticket in December too. Yeah. Well, Richard couldn't see it. He felt something, but he didn't know if it was a scab because it was down like on the under under of his belly. And he couldn't see it. And, uh, so one day he said, here, look, is this a scab or is it a tick? And sure enough, it was a tick. And it was biting him good, too. Yeah. Last year, I think I stopped counting at, what, 26 bites? And they say to be careful of the bites, but what are you going to do? Can't stay inside all spring, summer, and fall. Anyway, they come right in on us because that's how the cats get them. The cats don't go outdoors, so they must come in on us and drop, and then the cats get them. I don't know how many Callie had on her, that Callie over there. Biting her, too, and the, the vet did a test for Lyme's disease. But Oh, one of those sneaky ones. Teeny tinies. Well, Richard's was... Well, it was probably a medium size, I'll say. 
Yeah, and I picked it off them, and and you know how they are when they're rate fat, and but they can still move their legs, and they can still crawl slowly across the floor. But don't ever step on one, friends. No. I have this little pill bottle. I put some water in it and a drop or two of dish detergent. And I drop them in there. And I go like this. Swish it around and look. And it goes to the bottom. And then and, and then it, that's how it dies. You can't freeze them. You can't smother them. Good to the last drop. My, I used to put them in the toilet. And then, <laughs> I don't know, the mummies said, I'm scared they're going to grow like a monster in there and come back out. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. My mummy was a character. She loved Richard and Richard loved her. In fact, in 1987, we got that trailer in the end of May in 86, and we waited a year before we dug a well, and it was a really dry summer. So we dug the well and the septic, and uh, he was going to uh, Fall River, Halifax Way, to get a septic tank. I think it must be one of the fiberglass ones. Anyway, we had a half-ton truck at that time, so he asked Mummy if she wanted... I must have to work, because he asked Mummy if, if she wanted to go with him, and, and she went with him. Are we lost, she said. <laughs> Somehow they found the place and got back with it anyway. Well, they were like thick as thieves anyway, because they used to like to sit outside and drink beer with tomato juice in it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I enjoyed the socialization of having a drink with people too, but I am glad that I don't drink alcohol anymore. It's been over three years and I still think about it once in a while. Oh, gee, it would be nice to be able to have a cold bottle of beer on a hot day with Rich or a, a cooler, but one makes me want more, so... And then that's not the worst of it because then when you drink more of them, then then they make you eat things that you normally wouldn't eat that much of or eat. So, yeah. I remember the last ber uh, birthday party I went to. And uh, I was sitting there and I was just like, there was lobster dip on the table. Seafood dip. And all kinds of crackers and stuff and you know, yeah, it was just crazy the, the way they were, I was shoving them in my mouth and, but I, I didn't, I realized it, but I didn't stop it. So I'm glad. And then the last party I went to, I never had a bite of alcohol, a drink of alcohol or a bite of food. I know that was a little hard going through the whole night, not eating food, but I, I was on this here uh, intermittent fasting schedule and yeah I didn't want to break my fast especially by eating stuff that I is known to hurt me tripping pretty fast off of them icicles now and the snow flurries have stopped it's been over a year for me. I like ha having a can of iced tea. I enjoy it just as much as I know. They make so many mocktails and non-alcoholic beers, wines. It's all the same to me. Non-alcoholic wine? I used to get sick too, Ashley. But it didn't stop me. I get sick if I have one drink of rum. Or two or ten. Well, I probably didn't have ten because I would have, <laughs> I would have fell over. But ah, yeah, 
Yeah, the next day I would be hanging off the side of the bed with a basin or a garbage can under me. Yeah. Oh, I must try a bottle for next New Year's Eve. Or maybe our anniversary or something. Well, guys, look what time it is. It's quarter after two and it's three hours and one minute. I could really... Use going, excuse me. I could, uh, I could really use going quitting time. What kind of quitting time? Quitting of your work for the day or quitting this live stream? I got 11 thumbs up, friends. So I'm going to use the little girl's room here. And then when I go home, all I got to do is get out of my work for the day. I'm done at three. Cool. And then what are you going to do? See, so haven't go over and see if you can get any 50% deals at Superstore. No, that would be better early in the morning, I think. I think Tracy go. Tracy of Nova Scotia Living. She goes, I think she goes earlier in the morning to get those deals. Yeah, she just got, I was watching her last night. She just got uh, a bag of um, the blood oranges like Richard and I got that day we were down there. I don't know what she paid for them. It said 50 cents off, 50% 50 off. I'll watch the movies. Yeah, she got the, and we paid $2 for them that day. Nap time for Patty. Uh, I always go Saturday morning for the deals. Um, yeah, Margaret, I'm kind of tired. I'd love to stay in chat all day long, but... <laughs> yeah, I'm getting kind of wore down. And I did video before I went on live. And so, out in the snow this morning, and Richard and me, and the cat, and that. So, I'll probably edit that and upload it and publish that one in the morning. Well, this one might be ready by morning. I don't know. It takes a long time for these to get done. I don't know, but I lay down to watch YouTube or movies in the afternoon. Well, a rest is good, too. Even if you don't fall asleep, your whole body is more or less... There's lots of times I lie down and watch YouTube and stuff, and I don't I don't fall asleep. But today, I think I might be able to, because my eyes are really... Yeah. Oh, I just poked my eye. Oh, I'm so dangerous to myself. I had this one, uh, charged. This one goes dead overnight. It used to go dead overnight, and then all of a sudden it didn't go dead overnight. Now it's going dead overnight again. And I don't have any, um, there's no data or Wi-Fi on, so that helps from draining draining the battery because that is what three four years old now i think probably about four years old yeah so far i haven't been any having any problems with this oh uh, not this the new one that i'm using that i'm on now um since i got it replaced so, a couple of times when I was uh, doing uh, my lives. Uh, oh, see ya, uh, Margaret. 
Thanks for joining us, hon. Love ya. Uh, what I'm putting a title to under my video. Oh, window. Yeah, you too. Um. Anyway, there was a couple times I hit the keys and it wouldn't work. And I was thinking, oh, no, my phone again. But it wasn't. Both times it come up and said, YouTube not responding. Close the app. So I knew it was not my phone. It was YouTube. <laughs> Thanks, you guys, for being so nice to each other. I'll put this here, right here, in front of Richard, where he's going to sit at the table. And let him, uh, he'll see that it's the spices. My glasses keep falling off of that because the ear things broke off. I know, I'm supposed to go to the eye place and get one. Maybe next week. I don't know. Uh, I used to go to town by myself. I used to enjoy it. But some reason, these last few years, well, I guess it's ever since the pandemic is what made me not want to go any, any more anywheres. There, I'm just uh, putting things away here. Don't rock the chair. Now I gotta fix this blanket. I'll put that there just in case the cat wants to get on it she'll lay on the the towel instead of the putting the fur on the blanket <laughs> there she is for, oh she woke up you woke up just as mom's getting ready to go yeah you're such a cutie i think i'll close this door before i leave She jumped down off the chair. She wants to do something. Yeah, it's still uh, 29 in here, which is something like 84 or something. Let's check what it is out here before I put my stuff on. This one out here says uh, 74. Which is about 25 or no, 23 or something like that. Sorry for that close up, friends. That was scary. <laughs> anyway, uh, there's the snow out the door, out the window, excuse me. I'm trying to get that well. The well, it's the well, it's got the winding thing to wind the bucket up. So, anyway, I'm going to say, <laughs> I'm going to say, see you to all my nice friends, my kind friends, and we'll see you the next time. Maybe Thursday or Friday. <laughs> I love those their pink hands waving. See you guys the next time. Thank you, everyone. Love yous.